Hello, I'm John Sewell. I'm a consultant with IDCON. Today I'm going to talk about how the consistent use of engineering standards can help streamline the planning process and help reduce your overall cost of production. Engineering standards can cover a wide range of topics from design to operations and maintenance activities. Many engineering standards already exist and are in common usage across multiple industries. Plant-specific standards do take an initial investment of time to create, but once they're written, they can be used repeatedly to help speed up the planning process. Engineering standards are formal documents that document the standard methods to be used for critical and repetitive jobs that help keep the work safe, repeatable, and effective. The two primary types of activities that can benefit from established engineering standards are critical and repetitive jobs. Critical jobs have a high risk to safety, the environment, or a high cost if there were to be a failure and interrupt production. Repetitive jobs are another class of job that can benefit from engineering standards. Generally, the more often that a job is done, the more the plant can benefit by having a standard and repetitive way of doing it. When beginning to develop your engineering standards, focus on the combination of jobs that are most critical and most frequent. There are six general categories of standards that will benefit most plants. Look to develop standards that cover design, fabrication, maintenance, prevention activities like cleaning and lubrication, inspection procedures, repair activities, and equipment installation. Focus on developing engineering standards that are accurate, accessible, and applied. The accuracy of engineering standards is absolutely vital. Due to the critical and repetitive nature of the jobs, any errors in the standards can have severe consequences. Spend time periodically reviewing your engineering standards, checking the accuracy, and updating them to reflect any current best practices. The accessibility of engineering standards is determined by two factors. First is that users can locate them. Keeping your standards in an electronic and easily searchable database is recommended. The second factor affecting accessibility is in training of the end users. Planners, coordinators, engineers, and crews should all be trained on which standards are available, when, and how they should be used. To get the full value of engineering standards, they must be used frequently. Conduct spot checks of work order instructions to ensure that standards are available and that the crews understand their use. Engineering standards are an element of the technical database and help support the overall planning and scheduling process. Standards take an investment of time to create and maintain, but once they're written, they offer potential for huge returns in allowing for streamlined planning, better work execution, and ultimately lower overall cost of production. I hope you found this video beneficial. Subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here, and then head over to idcon.com for lots of other free resources on the technical database and planning and scheduling. Thank you.